Welcome back to Pet Food Forum TV. I'm your host, Kristen Levine, and now I'm joined by Ed Juhas, the Managing Director at Kincannon and Reed. Ed, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Sure. Now, you're presenting on attracting and retaining talent. Why is that such an important topic in this competitive pet food industry? Well, it's important for any industry, but for this industry in particular, it's because this is a growing one, and for the last who knows how many years, this, con this industry continues to grow and grow and grow. And we're, we have a labor shortage. There are just fewer people to do the kind of work that we want our companies to do. And when you layer that on a growing industry, it becomes that more problematic. And, and why is there a labor shortage? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One, uh, demographics are not really in the favor of the most senior level people who are running our companies. So, and this is no surprise. Demographers have been telling us for years that uh, about this time, we see this mass exodus of baby boomers, people born between 1945 and 1965, leaving organizations. Every day, 10,000 people are leaving our companies. And look, they might not be all senior level people, but they have very valuable jobs. All work has honor. And uh, they leave with all this tribal knowledge. But the, the demographic behind them, the generation behind them, the Generation X, there are fewer of them. There are 10% fewer Gen X people taking these jobs. So what's happened is you've got this uh, function of reverse musical chairs. There are more chairs to go around than there are people. And uh, it's put a lot of strain on companies, uh, particularly small and mid-sized companies who have that hard time attracting that kind of talent. Now, you know, 10% fewer people doesn't sound like a lot, but if your salary was cut by 10% or your expenses were increased by 10%, you'd feel it. Really? Yeah. And that's across the board it, it's, of it's, all industries? It's or? across the board of okay. all industries. This is not just a pet food thing. This is okay. all industries. And, and that's a trend that's not going to turn back. So, so companies have to become a lot more flexible in how they're going to attract and retain good people. Uh, it's, um, and, and as much of a problem as here is in the States, Europeans are 75% less likely to move than Americans. So if you put demographics combined with a cultural phenomenon, plus a growing industry, you can see why we are where we are. So how is your approach to attracting and retaining talent unique? Well, I think what we're doing is we're telling our clients today that you know, sometimes the best candidate you see is the very first one. And clients don't like to hear that. They want choice. And it's not that different from a realtor telling you, you know, sometimes the very first offer you get on your house is the best one. You don't want to hear that because you think your house is beautiful and you want all these people to come and give you, you know, well above asking price. But there are just fewer people who want to make these kind of job changes today. And, and so the other thing that companies have to do is they've got to put their very best foot forward when they're interviewing people. Roll out the red carpet. Make sure the people on the interviewing team are well prepared to bring in the candidate to really understand what their background is before they come in. We tell our candidates that the company should be on their best behavior that day. And if they're not, it's probably a sign. So what are the key components to a successful job match? Uh, you know, we say it's uh, people are hired for skills and fired for fit. So it's all about the culture. And the culture is the norms, it's a way, it's a way they go about doing their business. It's how things get done that a newcomer really wouldn't know until they're there. And so it's often the most uh, difficult choice a client has to make about the candidate. Will this person fit? How are we going to know? And, um, you know, certainly the technical skills get the people in the door, it's sort of the table stakes, but it's, are they collaborative? Uh, can they roll up their sleeves and get the work done? Many companies are looking for what we call strategic doers. Not just people who want to think, but people who can do the job as well. But it, but it really comes down to the cultural fit. Well, thank you so much for sharing those insights with us, Ed, and good luck with your presentation. Well, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right. And we'll be back with more right here on Pet Food Forum TV.